his hands. Then this and said, This is my blood, and with it God makes his new agreement with you. Drink this and remember me. The Lord meant that when you eat this bread and drink from this cup, you tell about his death until he comes. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter to Paul of the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I already told you what the Lord Jesus did on the night. He was betrayed and it came from the Lord himself. He took some bread in his hands and after that he gave thanks and broke it and said, This is my body, which is gave for you. Eat this and remember me. After the meal, Jesus took a cup of wine in his hands and said, This is my blood with him. God make his new agreement with you. Drink this and remember me. The Lord meant when you eat this bread and drink from this cup, you tell him about his death until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On the first day of the feast of the unloving bread, when they sacrificed the Passover ram, the disciples of Jesus said to him, Where do we want to go to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you, carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, says the master of the house, the teacher said, There is my guest room, where I might eat the Passover with my disciples. Then he will show you a large upper room, furnished and ready, making the preparation for there. The disciples, they went out and turned to the city and found it just like he had told them, and they prepared the Passover. While they were eating, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take this, this is my body. They took the cup, gave came thanks, and gave it to them, and they drank from it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then, after singing a hymn, they went out to the mouth of the gospel of the Lord. The night before Jesus died, the Last Supper. And what did he do? He gathered his friends around him at the table. And he shared a meal. And then he gave his body to watch them. Food from heaven. He loved them. It was an intimate exchange. Huh? They were all together. And he looked into their eyes and he saw the goodness inside each one of them. And he knew that they had their flaws. They were human. But he gave him himself. The food inside and nurtures them and us. So when we see the Eucharist, the Lord comes to us. Imagine God comes to us. With all our strengths and weaknesses, He nurtures us. He loves us. He wants us to be happy. He wants to be, us to be peaceful. He wants us to be people who have lives and integrity. So He says, I'm not going to just leave you alone in the Lord, but I'm going to love you, and I'm going to not only love you, but I'm going to give you something that will sustain you. Now that I've fed you, I want you to be a servant. He kneels down and washes the feet of his disciples. He says to them, I see that inherent goodness in you. I see your soul with all the blessings and all the possibilities. And I want you to go out and do that to others. Humble yourself. Kneel down in front of them. Wash your feet. Help others that maybe because of some experience or some shortcoming feel like you're not worthy. 
Do this in memory of me. 